in it. And, yeah, sometimes the motherfucker got to get shot in the field. You see where I'm coming from? So he was in the field and he got hit. He ate those. And he ran out of the city by himself all day. I don't see him coming up Broad Street by himself. You hear me? Right. I can honestly say I do. I have seen him really a few, few spots by himself. I can't lie. Right. I, ain't, I don't doubt it. He's a good guy. Like, he got a good, good guy that pull a See, I'm really the type of nigga. If this cop out there, he wants some juice and some weed. You got to remember, Meek Mill just said recently that he was tired of taking motherfuckers with him that was just getting high and wanted to party and shit like that. You feel me? Right. So, a lot of niggas still here in the city. But like, like I'm really so I had on the phone when I heard the conversation, I was right there. He said, man, I don't want that problem, really. He said, if me be... I just wanted to be squashed because y'all supposed to be folks. And that's when we foot forward until niggas start giving up information saying that he put a hold on and told Drake, no, nah. my thing is, I'm, a lie, I'm not going to lie to you. Why Drake ain't speaking up? See, now, that's when I feel as though he's being an instigator because he can intervene and be like, oh, this shit, this shit, this, these niggas, all these niggas are serious. Yeah. Let me not stop. Let me stop that beat. They gotta remember, a lot of us, right, is 30 and plus. Like what Millie said, we really 30 and plus. But a lot of us been in the penitentiary, man, 15, 10 years, five years. Niggas got a lot of time. So niggas, like, really, like, man, get your weird ass out of here because I'll go back. I'm going back forever. But we ain't trying to go back to jail and all these bitches and this money out here. Right. But when you, you know, I always was taught, right? I don't a nigga don't never ever throw his money around against the wolves. You see what I'm saying? Right. Because it's it's, hard, it's it's not good. The lunchable posts about the lunches and all that other shit. You got little kids that's still in the hood in the trenches, man. That's all they have is lunchable money, man. They don't got no money, man. I'm not going to look out. I go out my door every day. And when I go out my door, I'm on a trip like, man, listen, man. I see a kid, I'm giving up some money. Even if I don't have them when I'm going to the fucking ATM, come on, because they're hungry. Word. I'm stop. This is what OBH and Goody Gang and Honest do. We're stopping at gas stations and we're giving the kids money, man. This shit is serious. He got too much money to not even have had some, some real nigga stories about giving out some real bread. You can't say you're a millionaire because you're not a real millionaire if you're only working.